Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Well, hello and welcome to this episode of our program. This is Mike Saunders with Marketing Huddle. Today we have with us David Pitts, who is the co-founder of Off Day Trainer. Welcome to the program, David. Uh, thank you for having me, Mike. Thank you so much. Hey, so give us a little bit about um, a background on you, yourself, how you came to co-found this company called Off Day Trainer. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I got certified uh, to be a personal trainer back in college when I was playing football and I was looking for a way to earn a little bit of income um, outside of football practice and, and during the off season. So I got certified and, and really uh, just early on, uh, recognize my my passion for a for health and fitness, which I, I've always kind of knew. Being an athlete, growing up, working out, eating well that was that was pretty obvious for me. But but I, I learned early on that in addition to the health and fitness stuff, I really liked helping people, and, and mostly helping people achieve things that that they didn't even think they were possible of achieving, and 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 really just transforming their life really became like an obsession of mine. And so when my NFL dream and career didn't really pan out, I was left wondering, you know, okay, what the heck am I going to do with the rest of my life? So I, I, like many people in that position, I moved back home and took a job at a local health and fitness club. And one thing led to another. Next thing you know, I'm managing that club and I'm managing a team of trainers and, and so on and so forth. And then I really just drank the Kool-Aid. You know, I, I really really embraced that, that role, and I knew that I didn't necessarily want to be a personal trainer at a health club for the rest of my life, but I, I learned early on that I wanted to do something within that space. I just loved the, the fitness industry so much that I knew I needed to, to find a way to make my living, to make my career in that world. Yeah, and you know, it's uh, not, you always want to pick a market where you think you might be able to make a good impact, but also have some good uh, potential for scaling and growth. And if you chose, you know, underwater basket weaving, uh, that might not be quite the the target market and the growth. But yeah, fitness and personal training is a massive, massive market. I'm sure you know the numbers. But what uh, what initially attracted you to start now supporting that industry with your app, um, Off Day Trainer? Yeah, so it really goes way back. You know, a lot of the the concepts that really inspired Off Day Trainer, our product, uh, were pain points that that I experienced as a trainer or as a gym owner personally. So, so I, I've always kind of uh, prided myself in, in in connecting with my clients and, and being really likable and, and and doing more than just putting them through a workout two or three times a week. You know, I wanted to connect with them. You know, I wanted to to know about, you know, their hobbies and things they enjoyed and, and, and so on and so forth. So so I took a lot of pride in that and I really tried to create relationships because because I, I learned or, you know, at the time everybody was talking about how, you know, results are everything and and it's all about, you know, this methodology or this is the one way to train, you know, to program for your clients for results. And then that would just, there's so much contradictions in the industry on, on how to get your clients where they want to go regardless of their goals. And then it goes into like the nutrition side of it, right? Like everyone's talking about the next best diet. And the reality of it is for most people, you know, it, it's not about that as much as it's about just doing something uh, on, a, on a daily basis, finding something small to improve or progress towards their goals um, was really the key. So to really simplify what I'm trying to say is, is every one of my clients would do what they were supposed to when they were in a session with me two or three times a week. Mm-hmm. And, and I, of course, I had clients who, who experienced tremendous transformations and just made me feel like the greatest trainer in the world. But then, of course, like, like all trainers, we have certain clients who, who just can't achieve insane amounts of success and then of course you take it personally so I started obsessing like man why am I so good with certain people but I can't get through to these other people and what I learned was it was it was really not as much what I was doing with them during the session as much as it was what they were doing when I wasn't around Mm -hmm. so what are they doing the other four or five days a week right what are what are they doing the other 23 hours a day 
when they're, when they're not in a session with me, when they're not doing the workout. So are they going home and eating like crap, or, or are they following the plan? Are they doing the workouts that I provide for them on their off days, or are they, you know, sitting on the couch all day and not getting any better? So what I did, Mike, is I literally just started obsessing over this, and I said, you know what, I think, I think people are just focused on the wrong things, and rather than just trying to, to uh, get them to do every little tedious task that I want them to do, I'm just going to try to simplify things and just ensure that they do something to progress towards their goals on a regular basis. So the way I did that was I started looking for, for ways to motivate them and to keep them accountable when I wasn't around. So I was emailing. I had my private group on Facebook. You know, I was doing all this stuff. But, but the one form of communication that was tried and true and, and, it, and it worked without fail was texting. So with the email, you know, I'd have people who, who tell me they didn't see my email, my workout program because they don't ever check their email or, or they saw it too late, they didn't see it in time, they weren't able to do the workout, whatever. And then, of course, you have with the Facebook group, you know, people don't necessarily see it right away or they ignore the, the notification or uh, maybe some people aren't even on Facebook and all this stuff. So what I found myself doing was sending everyone text messages and I would say, check your email. Or, or what really happened was it really just evolved into simplifying what I was asking them to do. So rather than giving them these big elaborative workouts that said, here are the exercises you're going to do, here are the sets, reps, rest periods, all this stuff, that could be very overwhelming for your clients. What I started doing is, is doing simple things like sending a text message that says, you know, run for 45 minutes today and text back your distance. And when I started doing that, everybody was responding. So it was like a light bulb went off in my head and I'm like, holy shoot, this is, this is the answer. So now I find myself like texting them on a regular basis, asking them to, to let me know what they eat every day or to uh, sending them healthy links to recipes I found online or motivational quotes or all this stuff, right? This is what I was doing and my clients loved me for it. And not only that, but they all started getting crazy results and, and I became known as like the results guy here in, in San Luis Obispo and other trainers were wondering what the heck I was doing. They thought I found some like secret diet or, or I was doing these crazy workout routines, but it was really just ensuring that, that my clients fulfilled their commitment of, of working out five days a week, even though I'm only going to meet with them twice or working out six days a week, only, only though I'm meeting meeting with them three times, right? So I was providing that motivation and accountability to ultimately influence their behavior outside of the session. And what I learned was my, my solution here, I thought I had it all figured out. I opened up my own facility. And what I learned was my solution wasn't scalable. And this is, this is big. This is, it was a big aha moment for me in regards to business. But I was like, holy smoke. So I figured this all out. I feel like a great trainer again, things are good, but now I'm just absolutely overwhelmed because it was really easy for me to text five, 10 clients on, on a regular basis, but when I get 50, 60, 100 or more people that are working with me, there's no way for me to, to scale that. I can't send everyone these text messages. So what I thought I was, would do is create groups in my iPhone, and, uh, and then that just became like a total chaos in regards to group texting. I'm sure you're familiar with how that mm -hmm. goes. I put my phone down for five minutes. I'd have 67 unread text messages. And it was just nuts, man. I was working 10, 12 hours a day. And then I would go home and text for an hour or two every day. It was no joke. And it just got to be too much. And ironically, one of my long-term clients uh, was the CEO of a private text messaging company, and he was very successful. And when I learned more about what he was doing, helping small businesses engage their customers through text to influence their behavior and bring them in to, to buy, uh, it really hit me. And it was like, wow, if you can help me text my clients, we might have something. Because I'm managing a lot of trainers who are, who are having the same pain points as I am. And I, and I know and I work with a lot of other trainers around the country who are going through these same issues. And so that's really where our product uh, uh, was inspired from with some of those pain points. And so, so what we do is we are a text messaging communication platform that helps fitness professionals better engage their entire network. So whether that be your existing clients 
or even leads that you acquire from different marketing campaigns um, to the former client, people who stop working with you, anyone and everyone who will potentially ever be in your business or who was ever in your business, we want to keep you engaged with those people with a simple text message, ultimately providing more value and keeping your business relevant. Yeah, you know, you, you just gave a whole master class on, you know, client relations, relationships, and, and all of that. And it made me think of um, one of my clients is a um, high-end business coach, John DeLemme, and he has a recently, I think it was last week, was quoted in Inc. Magazine about accountability. And he mm-hmm. says, accountability separates the wishers in life from the action takers that care enough about their future to account for their daily actions. So nothing really happens until something's done, you know? So, you know, great workout today. Um, Keep up the good work, eat clean and do your in-between workouts. And they wave and smile. And then what happens? Like you said, well, when that text comes, now there's that element of accountability because that client doesn't know when you're going to text and ask. And do they really want to lie to you and say, yeah, I did it. And they really didn't probably not. So, how then can you make that feasible on a larger scale? I love that story. Um, can you talk a little bit about um, a few maybe not specific examples or names, but um, around that accountability aspect where your clients started just really engaging deeper um, and maybe they were getting okay results or good results, but now this is really drawing them in and maybe keeping them longer for the um, trainer or giving even better results? Yeah, sure. And I actually have, I mean, I could share a story with you that kind of uh, goes down those lines. Uh, One of, uh, this was probably way back in like 2009, 2010, uh, a a gentleman bought his mother a personal training session package with me for Christmas, and she was very resistant to it. She didn't want to do it at all. Um, And she is a a Romanian woman who who barely speaks English. She was intimidated by me. She was intimidated by the facility and everything about the health and wellness space, as a lot of people are. Now, she had some weight to lose, and she figured she would do it on her own, but for years, she just couldn't get there, right? Well, her and I met for our first session, and honestly, Mike, it was one of the worst sessions I've ever had. Like, I'm trying to bring my energy and be likable like I I normally do, and she wasn't having any of it. Like, she stopped me, and, and she told told me that she didn't want to be there and, and she doesn't really speak English very well and, and all of this stuff. And I'm like, okay, wow, this is going to be a long hour, but here we go. And we got through it and it was, it was the longest hour ever, longest session ever. And she was just incredibly, incredibly rude throughout the entire time. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, she left and I thought, man, I don't know if I'm ever going to meet with that girl again. Like that was just horrible. And sure enough, two days later, she shows up. I meet her, and I work with her, and, and this, this relationship begins. Well, uh, what had happened is that after the second session, she actually did say one kind of nice thing to me. She said she felt good, and, and she was glad she did the workout the first time in her broken English. And I'm like, okay, there's hope here. So long story short, six months down the road, she comes up, and she's late to a session, and she's never late, and she comes up, and she asks if she could speak to me privately in my office. So I go, sure, okay. And I could tell she'd been crying, and she was a little emotional, and she goes on to tell me her story, and her story was she was a Hungarian immigrant. She, she migrated here with her, with her son when he was just one years old, and, and you know she had nothing. She was living on the streets, eating out of dumpsters, like the whole nine, right, just telling me how she moved over here because she wanted to provide a better life for her, for her son. And she said, in, in, instead, she learned that her son actually provided a better life for her because he purchased personal training sessions for her and introduced her to me. And I was blown away. It totally mm-hmm. floored me, right? I couldn't believe it. And she goes on to tell me in depth her, 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 her story and her struggles and all of this stuff. And, and then she goes on to tell me how, how I've changed her life and how I helped her lose 50 pounds. And now she's stronger to help her clients and work. And she has to play with her grandkids for the first time in her life and all of this stuff. And she's just telling me, like, how where she's from, they never worked out. You know, they didn't have PE in school. So all of this was so new to her, which is why she was so hesitant to do anything, you know, to commit to it initially. 
and all of this stuff, man, and it was crazy, and it was at that moment, I'm like, holy smokes, like, this is what I want to do, like, I never thought that, that I could potentially help somebody like this to completely change their life, and a big, I mean, to kind of answer your question here, what was huge for me throughout this process was she was right around the time when I really started texting my clients like crazy, right? And I was texting her, even though she didn't necessarily want me to. Like the first month or so, she would never reply to my text. And then in a session, I, I would follow up with her and I'd make a joke about it. And, and you know, I'd get a, a little chuckle out of her every once in a while. And I would say like, man, Gabriella, you're the only one that doesn't respond with your mild time. You're the only one that doesn't do this, right? And it became like a joke. And then by the end, man, she, was, she would text me, hey, where's my motivational Monday text message, like so on and so forth. And she was just so into it, and she was a completely transformed woman. And, and, and I think a big part of that was just the fact that, that I refused to quit on her, and I, and, I, and I made sure that I was going to connect with her just like I did with everyone else who got results with me. And, and she's one of my favorite stories just because how much that woman went through. Yeah, you know, and what I hear in that story goes way deeper than you helped me lose 10 pounds or 20 pounds or gain, you know, muscle. And it, that went down to the spirit and soul of someone and their self-worth and yeah. esteem and, you know, all of that. And to me, who to thunk it, right? You know, bought right. personal training and now look at all these things. And then, then at first there was a little resistance and then it's like, you know, she's just absorbing it and craving it. And so anytime that you as a business owner can help facilitate that, see, it's kind of like the old, uh, you know, if you sell, sell life insurance, you don't really sell life insurance. You sell, you know, peace of mind for the family or whatever the case might be. Well, you don't provide an app or texting, you know, services. You provide you know, what you just described, you know, just a way for lives to be transformed and, and impact to be made and accountability to be easier. And now all of a sudden, this is happening and it's the way people want to communicate anyway. I mean, the, I, I literally just had my house painted and I was so frustrated because I would send an email in with a question and they would call me back. Well, I don't, I'm not available on the phone so much. I'm on the line or I'm with clients. And so send me an email so I can pop a, a quick one back. So people like to respond in the way that they are most acclimated and, and easy to respond. And guess what that is these days, <laughs> as you know, text. So I think that is just so, so amazing. So, um, I, so now kind of give us a little bit of a background on um, how you, you know, further support some of the um, fitness professionals, not only from your texting and your platform, but in any other other ways that helps them um, in their businesses. Yeah, so we do a lot of stuff in regards to support and continuing education type things. Um, I'm a CEC uh, accredited instructor for the NAFC, which is a, a certification company for personal trainers. Um, so we put a lot of content out there to help our users um, with their marketing campaigns and branding stuff and sales and, and the whole nine, right? Because we want, ultimately, our, our vision and our mission at the company is to help reduce the, the obesity rate in the country. And the best way we can do that is to go after all the fit pros in the world who are, who are helping people within their communities um, and then, you know, maybe we can, we can put a, a dent on that number. But, so we do a lot of different things. I do a lot of presentations, and, and we share a lot of the stuff. Uh, a lot of my presentations we'll share on our blog or online, or we'll send out direct text messages with links to our YouTube video or something like that. Um, but we're very hands-on as well. So every user of ours gets a, a free strategy call. So when they sign up, similar to how a trainer might help his, his client, you know, before, before you dive into the program, you got to learn about the goals and the exercise history and injuries and all that stuff, right, so that you can figure out the best way to help them to personalize that program. Well, we do the exact same thing for our users. As soon as a trainer signs up with us, we get on the call, and then we figure out, you know, more about their business model. Are you an online coach? Do you own a brick-and-mortar gym? Like, like, what does that look like? And then who are your clients? You know, how, how, how are you looking to engage them? Are you trying to improve your retention numbers? Are you trying to improve sales? Are you just looking for marketing campaigns to generate leads? And, and so on and so forth. And, and, and we believe that our system in regards to engagement is, is, is really the best system out there to help you connect with people. And we have a patent on our technology, which is really cool. Nobody thought we would get it. It was in a pending status for two years, and basically uh, we just got it approved about two months ago. And our patent is an automated, personalized text message. So what's cool about what we do, and it's unique to, to, the, to the market, is, is we send automated, personalized messages 
based on business best practices. So when you get leads for your business, whether you're a trainer or or in any industry, like we know when the best time to contact that lead is and what you should say. And we send that out for you automatically so you're not, you're not, you know, worrying about following up with all your leads. And, and not only do we give them that right message, but now you're, you're certain to, that every one of your leads actually gets followed up with and nobody falls through the cracks. Hmm. And then we take it, you know, even further by asking them certain information about their goals, like I said, and, and their injuries, and, and really put you in a position as a fit pro, as a trainer, to increase the chances of you converting them into a paying customer, paying client. So, like, for example, if you get a lead, it's one thing to just have a phone number or a name, but, but rather than that, imagine if that lead came with, you know, a questionnaire with their goals and their exercise history and their diet and, and, and their why and all this stuff. And all of this is in the platform for the fitness trainers? That's right. And it's all awesome. So, so it sounds to me like, I mean, and this is not a setup. You and I spoke for 10 seconds before this interview, um, but it sounds to me like this is literally a business in a box. And as long as you have your knowledge in the fitness world and the personal training world, this just kind of does the heavy lifting for you and gr- helps to grow your business. That's exactly right. And that's what we try to create. Hmm. Because the reality right. is, Mike, most trainers aren't, aren't great at marketing and most of them aren't even great at like business skills. Yeah. They, they, they hate talking sales and money and revenue and all that stuff. And, and these are things that I've learned over the years. And we've actually, you know, we, we've spoken with and worked with a lot of the industry's top trainers to really help us, you know, develop the, the platform to, to be where it's at today. So like I said, you know, we know exactly when you should text every lead and when to follow up if they don't respond. And then when, how many times should we follow up before we leave them alone, if ever, right? And then when you get a commitment from that person, now we know you're going to provide value to them during your sessions two or three times a week, but we allow the trainer to, to send out those text messages in, regard to, in regards to motivation and accountability. So for example, maybe I'm training with my trainer every Tuesday and Thursday, my trainer might send me an automated text every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I'm getting those touch points. Now, instead of just three days of, of him providing value and reminding me of my goals, now it's five days a week. So now maybe I'm getting dripped on with a, a motivational text or a nutritional tip or, or whatever it might be. Okay, and then to take it to the third and final step, we looked at, okay, what about the, the former client engagement? Because as fit pros, as trainers, you know, what I would do when somebody stopped working out with me is, is every once in a while I would look at my list of, of previous clients and I would reach out to them and I would just shoot them a text or an email telling them, you know, that I, I hope they're maintaining their goals and, and to stop by, you know, next time they're in the area, I'd love to see them. And they love me for that. They're like, man, that's cool. David really cares. So we figured rather than creating this manual work for the trainer, let's automate it. And let's send it through a text. So now with our system, you can text your former clients as frequently as you want, whether it's like once a month or every three months or whatever it might be, just to send a text and say, hey, Mike, I hope you're maintaining your goals. Next time you're in the area, stop by and say hello. Or maybe the following month, it's, hey, Mike, you know, if you or anyone you know is interested, we are having the biggest discount on personal training rates of the year. Come by this Saturday. We're having a barbecue at the facility, free food and drinks. We'd love to see you there. And what we've learned is with this former client engagement, more times than not, these people are replying back to the text messages saying things like, oh, my gosh, I've been meaning to text you for months. Mm-hmm. I've gained 10 pounds. Can, do you have room on your schedule? Right? So we've really automated the, what we call like the blueprint of, of what it takes to successfully engage everyone in yeah. your network. Well, engage is the word that I love that you just used because that's what it is. And it's way more personable than an email. Nothing wrong with email. Email still works these days. Love it. But um, I'm sure the stat is somewhere north of 90% of all texts are open within three seconds or tens or whatever it is, right? So but it's people. Under five minutes. Of- yep, I knew it was something close to that. But <laughs> but yet, an email, uh, it's an email, and did it go to junk? Did it go to, you know, your clutter and all of those things? But right. if you have a way to automate from the platform to facilitate that personal touch, how cool is that? Because they feel that you just popped them a quick email. That's right. 
That's awesome. Well, look, I'm sure we can talk for about uh, days and days and days on this, but I just love your platform, love your whole approach. What's the best way that um, other fitness professionals and trainers can learn more about your program? Well, what I'd like to do, Mike, uh, with your permission, is I would like to give them access to a video that I created on, on business best practices. So I've created a video that talks about branding your business, uh, marketing, uh, and even engagement to ultimately grow your business and deliver the best experience possible. And your, your listeners can, can access that video if they text in, obviously, as a text, a text guy, I'm going to have you text here, uh, text the keyword podcast to the short code 56955. So you just type in the number 56955. That's the number you're going to text. And then in the text box, you just put podcast and send that message. And then you'll get a link to my landing page with my video. And that would be a nice gift that I would like to pass on to your listeners. In regards to connecting with me personally, uh, you can shoot me an email. My email address is David at offdaytrainer.com. We are on Facebook. Uh, You can just go to facebook.com forward slash offdaytrainer. And of course, we're on Instagram as well. Um, If you just look up the the handle uh, offdaytrainer. Awesome. Well, David, it was so great uh, getting to know you and thank you for the gift of the uh, video and the business uh, knowledge. And that's always uh, uh, helpful. Everybody can, I mean, I think that uh, I literally listened to an interview from Tony Robbins recently and he has a coach. So, I mean, come on, everybody needs coaching and help. And, and so I just love how you uh, are, are providing all of that to your clients. So thanks a million for your time and uh, good luck in, in uh, the future. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mike. It it was an honor to be here, and I appreciate you. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.